Max Ernst, who was born the 2nd of April 1891 in Brühl, Germany, was a German painter, sculptor, graphic artist and poet. Ernst was a primary pioneer of the Dada movement and Surrealism. Max Ernst was the third of nine children of a middle-class family. His father, Philip, was a teacher of the deaf and an amateur painter. His interest in painting and sketching in nature influenced Max to take up painting. In 1909, Ernst enrolled in the University of Bonn to read philosophy, art history, literature, psychology and psychiatry. He visited asylums and became fascinated with the artwork of the mental ill patients. He also started painting that year, producing sketches in the garden of the Brühl Castle and portraits of his sister and himself. Even though during his life he had no formal artistic training, his painting, collages and sculptures created mysterious combinations. Because of his experimental attitude towards the making of art, he ended up inventing frottage, a technique that uses pencil rubbings of objects as a source of image. In this technique, the artist places a piece of paper over an uneven surface, then mark the paper with a drawing tool, such as a pastel or pencil, thus creating a rubbing. The drawing can be left as it is, or used as the basic for further refinement. These forms of rubbing intend to reproduce an existing subject, he kept creating art the following years until his life was interrupted by World War I. Ernst was trapped and served both on the Western Front and the Eastern Front. The effect of the war on Ernst was devastating. In his autobiography, he wrote of his time in the army thus. On the 1st of August 1914, Max Ernst died. He was resurrected on the 11th of November 1918. The war really marked Mark's life and work. The desire of freedom was an inspiration for many of his work. Usually, he expressed it by showing an empty bird cage. In 1922, he left Germany and moved to Paris, where he joined a group of surrealists led by André Breton. In 1951, he emigrated to the United States to later return to France in 1959 and died in Paris the 1st of April, 1976. His techniques are still studied and used today. His work is considered one of the most important of the Surrealist movement. These are some of his most famous paintings.